In this video, we'll take a look at Revit's ribbon and quick access toolbar. First, we'll start with the ribbon. The ribbon is made up of several tabs, and on each tab, commands are grouped into separate panels. Here we have the build panel, circulation, model, and so on. On these panels, we have individual buttons or commands. We can click the sealing button to start the sealing command. We'll notice some buttons are made up of two distinct parts we can click on. This is called a split button. If we click the top part, it'll start the most often used command in this grouping. The bottom part will expand, so in this case we have additional wall-related commands. The top option here is always the same as the top part of the split button. Another variation on a button is on the Manage tab. We can see additional settings. This is just one button that is a drop-down list, so we must always click this drop-down list to expose these additional commands. On the Annotate tab, we'll notice the text panel has a small icon, an arrow, in the lower right. If we click this, it opens up a dialog box with various settings related to text in Revit. On the dimension panel, right next to the word dimension, we see a down arrow which expands the panel to show additional options. This can actually be pinned open if needed. Typically though, when you just click a command, this will close, or you move your cursor off of it, it will automatically close. A couple other things that everyone should be aware of related to the ribbon, partly just so you know how to undo it if any of these things ever happen. One is that if you click and drag on a panel, it can be repositioned. So this can be helpful if you're going to be using the wall, door, window tools a lot, and you may be switching to different tabs on the ribbon, and you want to have these commands always accessible. When it's time to put this back, or if you've accidentally pulled it out and you want to put it back, just simply hovering over this floating panel reveals this icon in the upper right, and this, as the tooltip says, returns the panel to the ribbon. So even if that current tab isn't visible, this command will always put that panel back exactly where it came from. So here on the architecture tab, you can see the build panel is back. Another thing that can happen is if we double click on a tab, it changes the state of the ribbon. So I'm gonna double click again, and then one more time. So each time we double click, it changes the state between one of four options. The default is the fully expanded version, all the way to this fourth option, which is fully collapsed. This might be useful on a laptop with a smaller screen or during a presentation. In this uh, fully collapsed mode, if we want to access a tool on a tab on the ribbon, we'll just simply click on the tab it reveals all the panels with, with it, each panel's tools. If we click a tool, it would close the panel. Otherwise, we just move our cursor off and the ribbon fully collapses automatically. And then we just double click again to continue that cycle. Uh, there's icons on the very right, just where a single click will also toggle. But what's less known and people often uh, get confused is that you can double click on these tabs and that causes the ribbon to, to also change its state. Um, another thing that can happen, but only if you're holding the control key, is that the tabs can be repositioned. So you wouldn't normally want to do this unless perhaps you're a structural, uh, structural engineer or a structural technician or designer, maybe you want the structure tab to be first. But to match what's shown in the textbook, you'd want to leave these the way they are by default. 
The last thing we'll look at in this video is the Quick Access Toolbar. In the upper left we have the series of commands available and what's convenient about them and thus its name, Quick Access, is no matter what tab you're on, on the ribbon, these commands are always accessible. So if you're doing something mainly on the Annotate tab and you decide you want to quickly switch to a 3D view, you can simply select the 3D view icon here on the Quick Access Toolbar rather than switching to the View tab and then selecting the 3D view icon. Another thing that's helpful is commands that are used often can be moved to the Quick Access Toolbar. The default commands that we see here are ones that Autodesk, through research, decided are the most used commands and, and have placed them there automatically when the software is installed. But, uh, for example, I like to use the Align tool a lot. So I can right-click on the Align tool from the Modify tab and select this command, Add to Quick Access Toolbar. And due to the resolution of my screen, I'm not quite sure why, maybe it's just this new version of Revit, there's apparently plenty of room here for this icon to show up. Normally the icon will just show up right here. You, you should have room for several icons. And you can click this arrow when they're hidden and it will reveal the extra ones that we've added. If I right click on this, I can remove it from the Quick Access Toolbar. There's one other option when you click this little down arrow at the right where you can turn off or back on some of the default options. And then there's an option here to move the Quick Access Toolbar below the ribbon, which would also give you a lot more room for icons. But again, I would recommend that you don't customize the Revit user interface while you're working through the textbook so that the screen captures in the book match what you're seeing on the screen. So that's a quick look at the ribbon and the quick access toolbar in Revit.